reserve the right to call out people in the audience. <laughs> was still in poet and undefined in many of the challenges were before us. If there's a technology that has the potential for widespread good, for the relief of disease, relief of suffering, it's terribly unfortunate if an initial misstep leads to an overall suppression of interest in, in that technology. And so, yes, um, I think there was a strong sense yesterday uh, that the current standard is impermissibility. But once again, I, I hope we don't just stick our head in the sand. Well, I, I'm, I'm grateful that he appeared today in the meeting as scheduled to present his, his work. I think that was appropriate. Um, but I don't think we heard uh, answers to the questions that were, were asked. And, and I think a lot of the questions were, were very good questions and very relevant to the future of this whole field and not to mention, of course, the people that are directly affected by this. And we did not hear answers to those questions. So I think we still need to understand the motivation for the study and what the process was for informed consent and how the children will now be monitored. And I don't know the answers because we didn't hear them today. He didn't answer properly most of the questions. In particular, the question about why was this worth doing? Was there any medical basis for doing it? I don't think he answered that. I don't personally think there was. Um, there are alternative ways to protect those babies from HIV, which would have been easier and better without the attendant risks. The transparency was not there. I don't know whether the informed consent was done right. It wasn't clear. So it wasn't long enough to find out. I don't think this should have been done. I think it's unfortunate. It would have been good if we'd known more about it before this meeting came up. So. I remain convinced that there is both no unmet medical need here that was addressed and uh, the process by which uh, these patients were treated was uh, without the engagement of critical stakeholders including independent scientists, ethicists, regulatory committees, governing bodies and such, it's an appalling example of, um, of what not to do with a new technology that has incredible potential to benefit society. After yesterday, with the revelations 